Here we are at our 1997 Larson 310 Cabrio. This cabin cruiser for sale here on Norris Lake is powered by twin Mercruiser 5.7 liter 350 inboard outboard stern drive engines. It's also got a 4KW Kohler generator on board. Bravo 3 dual prop out drives, which is basically what you want in this size boat. You can see we've got a Raymarine radar on the radar arch. We're here for our video walkthrough tour. This boat can be found for sale listed at our website www.yournewboat.com That's where you're going to find the current asking price and the full list of features in case I miss any or misspeak today. Our website's very easy to navigate just once you make it to the yournewboat.com site you'll see some orange lettering look for the find your new boat button in the top left corner click that scroll down that's going to show you all of our inventory in order of price just scroll down until you see the 1997 larson 310 cabrio you'll recognize the photo of it of course you'll see the asking price right there and then you'll be able to click into the ad listing for the full list of everything that this boat is equipped with just uh, in the center of the frame now you'll see a swim boarding ladder that folds out into this integrated swim platform see we've got a little bit of a ding right here on your rub rail and then I'm going to open this hatch. This is where your 30 amp shore power plug plugs into. You've got a transom shower, hot and cold transom shower right here on the dock. That's a breaker for that shore power feed coming in. And that's a uh, television cable hookup. Next to that, we've got um, a, a, this would be where your dock water would plumb into the boat. Uh, that is, an, again, another nice feature to have on this size boat that uh, lets you just use the use the dock water to plumb the boat instead of having to fill your tank every time uh, that you run that out. And then of course that little um, that little hook there is to roll your um, dock hose onto. And then another storage place here. All right, I'll close that. You can see we've got. Well, thought I had that closed. Let's try again. All right. Uh, we've got a little gate here to we'll walk through transom gate. I should point out we've basically got a double bimini top overhead. This one's also equipped with a cockpit cover. It's currently just stowed underneath the seat. And there is a uh, full camper canvas or Isinglass enclosure. Those, those terms are often used to mean the same thing. We've got a little bit of Isinglass um, through our bimini top and that's just to let in some lighting from your radar arch so that was very thoughtfully done when that canvas was was put together all right we've got some nice uh, bench seating here in the cockpit uh, removable lounge table we've got dual batteries uh, switches that are just under that seat in the center of the frame now and then I'm standing basically on top of a large engine hatch that's got what I might even call a window into that engine room, basically a smaller hatch on hinges built into a larger hatch so that uh, we'll use that smaller hatch here later whenever I raise the engine compartment to show you the power equipment. So here we've got a nice wide uh, driver's seat. People sometimes call that a uh, companion seat because it's basically wide enough to, to hold two here at your helm station. We've got a tilt steering wheel. Here's your throttle and shift controls. You've got a trim tab controls as well. And trim gauges. And then here's your hour meters for each of those Merc Cruiser engines. There's a thousand and five hours on your port side engine, a thousand sixteen on the starboard side engine. This boat, as far as we can tell, has always been in fresh water. That's on about its third or fourth owner. Here's your engine instrumentation. You've got tachometer, uh, speedometer, engine temperature, battery volt, engine oil pressure gauges, and fuel gauge. Built-in hummingbird depth finder as well. Compass just above all that. And should also point out your engine synchronization synchronization gauge that is very handy so you don't have to basically constantly look back and forth at your tachometers for either engine that's just a one quick reference point to so you can see if your engines are running in sync with one another or, or one engine needs just a tad more rpm than the other so here's your Ray Marine uh, 
radar chart plotter. This is a Pathfinder SL70. And we've also got remote spotlight control as well as a VHF radio control here at your helm station. Before I leave the cockpit, I should point out we've got a Magic Chef uh, refrigerator. That is just an electric refrigerator, and that's only going to run on dock power or generator power. That's not um, a dual source like the one in the cabin that we'll see here in a moment, and then cockpit sink here included as well. So now I'm going to head on down into our cabin. And here at your galley, we've got a dual electric uh, range built-in sink, Samsung microwave. Your stereo is uh, provided by Clarion Marine. That's a cassette and a CD changer stereo. And this would be your dual source refrigerator. So this runs off of battery and 12 volt power. I'm sorry, battery and your 110 power. So that can run off, uh, off your batteries. Uh, when you're out from the dock and you're not running your generator and then it's also going to run off generator or shore power. So that's your dual source fridge. Over here our dinette, I've got the table raised right now. That will lower and there is a filler cushion that goes in there so that will double as a bed. We've got some nice storage that's overhead and a large hanging locker right here. And this is a 32 inch LG flat screen television. And our mid cabin is just below that. There's our mid cabin. This is just another sleeping area. You've got just a, a small little sliding window with a built in screen there. Okay, and then backing up and turning up to the bow of the boat, you've got your V berth up here. You've got a bow hatch overhead. The hardware on that hatch needs a replace, or it needs a whole new hatch. And then we've got a little bit of staining in the headliner. I should also point out uh, the headliner is a little uh, loose in some places. It's just kind of sagging a little bit, uh, just really just from the age of this boat. So just kind of trying to show you that you know there is a little bit of a of a sag there in that carpeted headliner. Now underneath your V berth. You've got a cruise air. This is a 12,000 BTU marine air and heat unit. It's a reverse cycle, so it's going to make um, cool air and warm air. You've got a privacy curtain that's kind of built in right here. That's, that's kind of neat. That will basically slide out and cover that um, whole entryway to your V-berth. And then this is the filler cushion for the dinette. Pull that out of the way just so you can see how much space you've got over there. You've got some some nice integrated windows built in as well. So, um, next up is the head compartment. And this is a marine head. Um, that is an electric head. And then you've got a small built-in sink here in the head compartment as well. And then uh, the door for um, this under sink storage is just positioned behind the head. And that's because that uh, shower sump pump is is in the process of being replaced. So just wanted to point that out there. All right. From here, let's uh, let's hop back up into the cockpit. Give you one more 360 degree view here in the cabin, and then I'm going to give you a peek inside that in engine uh, hatch that I referenced earlier. Again, this is powered by twin Merc Cruiser 5.7 liter V8 uh, engines, Bravo 3 dual prop outdrive, that is a Thunderbolt 5 ignition. You've got a uh, four batteries over there, those were replaced in 2016. Six gallon hot water heater just to the starboard side of that starboard engine onboard battery charger over there as well. Now your 4KW color generator is in a sound box which uh, well that's that's another optional upgrade and that's just going to kind of muffle the sound from that generator while it's running about 501 hours showing on it again that's for KW Kohler generator marine generator so 
Uh, before I leave the cockpit, I'm going to show you just some wear on these seats. You've kind of got your seams are just showing some of its age. A little tear here. You can kind of see that seam is, is starting to show some wear. We've got another spot up here at your driver seat right here in the corner and then coming across there. So we're trying to represent our listings as accurately as possible when we put them up for sale. And I'm going around the side here. Let me take you up to the bow. Uh, the sun pad is available for this one. It uh, does need some new snaps installed. And then our windlass up here is not operational right now. That is going to be sold as is. And then that's your remote spotlight just above it. So again, uh, visit our website, yournewboat.com. That's where you're going to find them uh, up to date uh, price. We don't mention the price in our video tours because those will often change throughout a listing. So if you make it to the yournewboat.com site, you'll see the current asking price and you'll see all of our contact info where you can contact us with any questions. You can contact us by phone, by text, by email. If you call us on the phone, you get our voice uh, mail, leave us a detailed message so we can have your questions answered whenever we, whenever we return your call. And uh, this slip is transferable if you wanted to keep it here. Although I should point out it's not actually in the slip right now. The slip for it is this empty piece of water right here. We've just got to pull it out to get some better lighting for our photos and video. Thanks again for joining us.